Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, week today since uh, my last day of work, so I got seven days of retirement in. Man, I love it. Uh, nobody to report to but myself. So, anyhow, thanks for tuning in. As you saw in that uh, first little clip there, uh, I've got uh, a wore out ball joint. I've actually got four wore out ball joints and I've got 6,150 miles on the car. So uh, my control arm kits, uh, they're tubular. They were ordered from eBay from a reputable supplier and I was told by some other people on YouTube and uh, some forums I'm on that the ball joints are crap. Uh, they're cheap Chineseium stuff and they are right. They won't take grease and they're wore out in 6000 K. So uh, that just shows you you should check all your, your car over completely uh, quite regularly uh, with today's parts out there. We've got our 4000 kilometer trip coming up early next month so it was time to go through everything on the car. I've been fixing a bunch of little stuff. I got the horn working. Uh, some probably when I put it together and blew the fuse. A uh, little bit more weather stripping and stuff on the doors. Got rid of some rattles and stuff. And I've been working on the Fargo a bit here. So <clears throat> I'll just show you. I got uh, one lower piece for the cab mount. Uh, hammer formed. I've still got to finish the edges on it and clean it up a bit. I have to, uh, once I get that 100% formed and everything, then I can uh, start figuring out where I'm going to cut the rocker and stuff off on the, on the uh, driver's side. I'm going to do one side at a time, uh, just so that I have a reference on the, uh, on the opposite side. So this is what I've, uh, what I've done. I took the one piece that I drilled spot welds out. I made a, uh, a pattern out of uh, my favorite cardboard. The good stuff, let me see if, get this camera to back up a bit. And then once I was done with that, I took a piece of quarter inch plate and I cut, uh, this is the inside edge of the form. Got it upside down. So I then cut a piece. I have a, another pattern here. So let me grab it. Not really ready here. So here's the the actual piece of steel that I cut out. I'm using 18 gauge. This fits on the inside. And then this lip all the way around is what I'm uh, using this hammer form to, to shape. I didn't weld any tabs on it and I didn't make a doubler so that I can use it for both sides. I just beat it on the opposite side. I started out the first one, I tried to use some 16 gauge. I did get one shaped, but there's no way I can put the curves and uh, the rest of the stuff in it. And it took my arm a day to recover after all the beating on that real heavy stuff. So I've got a piece of wall art there. Uh, I'm going to fine tune the piece for the driver's side and then uh, start figuring out my cuts to, to do the rest of it there. So anyhow guys, that was just a short little update. Uh, again, make sure you're checking your cars if you're using some of them uh, so-called good parts that come from... Uh, across the pond there so anyhow thanks for subscribing we'll catch you on the next one guys